tanggap tayo, magbalik tayo. Uh, ako si Harold, ikaw si Troy. Tapos buong time, ikaw yung sasagot pag si Troy. <laughs> Nakala- feeling ko nakalive na tayo. Wait lang. <laughs> nakalive na tayo. Wait lang, wait lang. Yan. Check. Hello? Hello, hello din sa inyo. Transition yan. Okay, sige, sige. Tingnan natin kung naka-live na tayo. Hala, Ay, ano? Kung, ano so, sorry, mayroong class na din sa inyo. Ano yun, sir? Uh, ilang, ilang minutes na lang matatapos na doon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, isi-share ko lang sa Facebook ko. Ha. Kukunin ko yung cellphone ko. Nasaan yung cellphone ko? Nandito. <laughs> Gusto mo makita si Tala? Ano? Ah, si Tala, ba? Nandito si Tala eh. Nasa gilid ko. Ito na, ito na. We're live, we're live. Hello, Dr. Troy. Good evening. Thank you so much for... Hello. For guesting here. Can you hear me? Yes, uh, loud and clear, Harold. Chubby, Thank sir. Chubby. Chubby. Chubby? Chubby. Chubby, chubby. So, so, sorry. Chubby, yeah. chubby. All right. Pero okay naman ako. Okay ka? Yes, yes. Thanks, Sige. Harold, for the invitation. Yes, yes. Uh, good evening, everyone. Welcome to PhD Streams. And it, uh, tonight is episode 2. And uh, explain ko lang po muna sa lahat no, ano ibig sabihin ng PhD Streams. As uh, everyone knows or many knows that uh, people call me PhD short for Poging Harold Doroteo. Uh, wait lang, may mga... <laughs> May sounds ako dito, hindi tumutunog. <laughs> ano nangyari dito? Epic fail. Wait lang, may meron akong sound effects, sir, eh. Explosion, laugh, air horn, bakit ayaw tumunog? Ulitin natin, ulitin natin. Uh, hindi, hindi ata nabayaran yung premium uh, version. <laughs> so, going back, PhD streams, uh, purpose, uh, uh, sorry, passion, health, and uh, discipleship. Tingnan, na, tingnan natin, ha? Yan. Rinig mo yung, rinig mo yung tawa? Kinilabutan ako. Kinilabutan ako. Kinilabutan ako. Kinilabutan ako dito pala. <laughs> Alright, so... Yan, yes. oh, may air horn pa, no? Uh, uh, per, uh, passion, health, uh, discipleship, and we are now in episode 2. Bakit PhD? Kasi uh, these are my uh, this? interests in life. And people also call me PhD as in not poging Harold Doroteo, but... Uh, pastor Harold Dorotay, no, I'm also a pastor by commission. <laughs> gulat na gulat si, si ang ating guest ngayong gabi ito. So, uh, medyo uh, na tayo ngayon, uh, MacGyver mode, uh, late tayo nag-start, sorry. And uh, for episode 2, uh, we welcome everyone we have here with us, uh, the one with the public health epidemiologist. I'm not sure kung tama yung aking uh, title doon, no? but we have here, uh, Dr. Troy Hepte. Palakpakan naman dyan. Yan. Hello, Dr. Troy. Magandang gabi. Magandang gabi. Uh, PhD. Uh, looking forward talaga ako dito sa show mo. Actually, hinihintay ko to for ilang months na salamat. Naalala mo ako na makapag-guesting ako talaga. Yes, it's an honor, sir. It's a privilege for you for for me to have you here talagang inantay ko ito at alam mo bang may inusog ako na schedule para lamang ikaw ang mauna can you imagine that oh, oh, oh sorry uh, it's it's really an honor and <laughs> tuwa-tuwa ako na naka episode 2 ka na kaya mas matutuwa ako kung episode 3 ka na kaya dami at dami ang ating mga episode yes alam mo naman uh, we are also uh, have a day job so talagang ang hirap i-balance ang ating ano ang ating career sa social media. Ah, uh, uh, pa lang Harold kung okay lang kukunin ko yung pagkakato na to para um manghingi ng counting ano um ano request pag kunarin maubusan ka ng guest uh, pakikawalan mo lang ako na. <laughs> Go ahead sir. <laughs> Ikaw ang aking mainstay na nag-guest dito sa PhD Streams. Actually, PhD Streams is only one. Meron, uh, ang yung mother ano talaga nito is PhD Vlogs. Ito yung YouTube account ko, y- yung YouTube channel ko. No? So, ikaw yung pang 323 yata, as, as, as I can remember, na subscriber. Ginalaw mo yung baso eh. Yun yung term doon. <laughs> 
<laughs> Salamat. Uh, and I, I don't mind na uh, if kunwari kakilangarin mo ko. In the future then, uh, ewan ko, lalalo pa si Kuya Germs, meron siyang shalala. Okay. Or Uy. meron siyang tita swarding. Okay ako doon. Uy, kakamatay lang ni Shalala sa malangit na wa. Sa malangit. Oo, oh, tuberculosis, would you believe? Oh. Yes, yes. Grabe, related sa pag-uusapan natin ngayon because uh, tonight we'll be talking about public health, epidemiology, and COVID-19 and beyond. No? So, we have here Dr. Troy Hefte. Grabe po, pinag, ano yung pipitagang uh, epidemiologist ito. Yan, mayroon pang mga pasabog, di ba? At uh, kapag siya po ay naririnig ng mga taong uh, parating, ito po ang ninyong naririnig na sound effects. Ayan. Parang ano, parang parang the purge. Sabahan <laughs> tayo. Yeah, last week po uh, sa, sa aming uh, opisina, pinapanood namin siya sa YouTube, no? yung kanyang mga guesting sa Salamat Doc at saka kay... Uh, Maring uh, Jean Castaneda. So, grabe. Episode 2 pa lang ng PhD Streams. Meron na tayong The Campanilyang uh, guest. And that is in the form of Dr. Troy Hefte. In the form of Dr. Troy. Pwede, pwede, pwede naman ang sabihin. Uh, totoo lang, mahihayin akong tao. Before itong guest experience. Uh, Actually, hindi na pa ako eh. Ah, talaga ba? Nag-brush ako, nagsuklay ako, nagkilamos ako. Talagang kilamos Grabe. Ako. Talagang pinaghandaan, Dr. Troy. Sige po. Dr. Troy, before we start, uh, could you please uh, at least introduce yourself para ma- makita po tayo ng mga, uh, malaman po ng ating mga guests na nanonood. Ngayon po, sobrang dami ng nanonood. We have three viewers. Three viewers. Oh, of the... <laughs> Oo. Maapaw na. Ipapasalamat ako sa three viewers natin. Sana parang multiplication of loaves uh, and, and fish na dumami yan. Yes, uh, yes. Kahit mamaya, apat na o lima. Pero, uh, just to say something about myself, Harold. Yes, sir. Um, yes. Uh, I'm working with Harold. Ako ang kanyang dre. Yes. Sa, ano, <laughs> sa WHO. And um, I'm a public health epidemiologist. I'm working. Um, I, I've worked for like uh, the past 20 years now. Um, mostly um, in, in different capacities, like um, I've been a teacher, uh, still a teacher, and I'm also doing a lot of project uh, consultancies. I've engaged with uh, a lot of um, work on this, this ano, itong COVID-19, yung mga emerging infectious diseases. And uh, yeah, I, I, I used to work at RITM, which was one of my first jobs. Um, working as a project physician, climbing my way up to become a, becoming a researcher, epidemiologist. I, I like uh, statistics. Funny to say before, um, I I do not like math. I try to avoid it. But eventually, <laughs> finding myself in public health, trip to trip to talaga on statistics and epidemiology. You you hate math, but pero nag epidemiology ka. Oh. <laughs> Ano, uh, minsan ganun talaga ang kapalaran na uh, uh, mapapagpag ka uh, in some field and then really happy to have worked uh, in recent years. Um, I've been working as a consultant din for um, a mga pag-uwan ng policy and legislation. Uh, I, I did some stint also uh, with some senators uh, wow. to help them with their legislation. Yes. yes. Thank you so much, Dr. Troy, at isang malakas na palakpakan naman uh, sa quick introduction na yan. Sir, shout out na tayo. Shout, uh, shout out tayo. Meron tayong viewer sa YouTube. Ang sabi niya, hello, idols. Shout out to April Joy David. Yan, okay. meron nanonood. Sumusubaybay. Yes. How are you? Salamat. <laughs> That's what friends are for. No, supportahan. Yes, yes. <laughs> So, lang tayo. <laughs> sir, actually, pina-introduce kita sa sarili mo kasi alam kong very humble ka at yun ang isa sa mga tinitangal ako sa'yo. Pero actually, meron akong introduction sa'yo kasi meron akong kopya ng abbreviated curriculum vitae mo. Shout out to Lian. Thanks for sending me a copy. <laughs> oh my Dok- God! Kala ko pa naman. <laughs> Dok- saan yan? Sa'yo pala? <laughs> Hindi, para sa meeting to tomorrow. But Dr. Troy Hepte, 
is um, ito po ah, ito po una pa lang, uh, nagtapos po siya ng intermed program sa University of the Philippines in year 19 kopong-kopong, di na po natin sasabihin <laughs> yung exact year. Ano, hindi mahoba. Yes, and alam po ninyo ang intermed program ay iilan lang po ang nakakapasok dyan. Yan po yung pag-graduate mo ng high school, diretso na sa intermed, ibig sabihin magdo-doctor ka, no? Uh, merong bachelor yan, that is, that is in bachelor in science, major in basic medical sciences. And after that, uh, doctor of medicine, kasi that's the program, still in UP, uh, Manila, and also finished uh, master of public health in uh, in year 2002. Wow, ang tagal, ang layo ng, ano, ng gap, Dr. Troy. Huh? What happened there for in the 10 years of ano, gap? Talagang nag-work ka muna before you uh, went yes. into public health, no? Can you say something tsaka, about that? Tsaka pala yung ligaw, uh, Harold. Uh, wala nangyari masyado. Uh, puro busted. Pero honestly, tama ka. Nagtrabaho like, muna ako trying to find my um, niche in public health before uh, uh, really finishing. Bago ka, bago ka ng gamot ng mga uh, maraming tao, uh, nanira ka muna ng puso ng maraming tao. Tama ba? <laughs> Oo nga eh. Uh, Kaya kung pwede, kukunti ng viewers natin kasi kinakabahan ako. Baka mamaya malaman nila uh, at ano, alam mo na. Malaman nila ang... Oh, Magkigante. Uh, nako, mahirap yan. <laughs> yan ang kinakatakutan natin. So, uh, and also, ang work experience, ang dami. Sobrang kukulangin ng one hour sa ating pagbabasa ng work experience na ito. Pero... <laughs> Oops. In a nutshell, he's a public health expert, no? Uh, consultant sa WHO, sa DOH, sa ansan pa sa ADB. And disclaimer lamang po, all the views and uh, comments, suggestions that we have here does not reflect uh, the organization we represent currently or kung ano mang bagay, no? Yun pong full disclaimer natin dito sa PhD streams. Lahat po dito ay pawang... Uh, pang ano lang kasiyahan lamang katang isip lamang <laughs> katang isip lamang <laughs> and also ang pinaka highlight ng experience mo recently yung pag-uusapan natin ngayon you've been with the country office in of WHO Philippines uh, for almost a year actually sir uh, one year anniversary no June ka ba nagsimula tama ba June yes June so, 15 June 15 uh, yeah parang ganun uh-huh. yeah so before we uh, end June sakto nakapag uh, PhD streams tayo and we have known each other already for a year for more than a year na kasi since pumasok ka doon lamang kita nakilala so ngayon ito yung culmination ng ating ano uh, friendship uh, ng ating uh, tawag dito mentor mentee relationship uh, supervisor supervisory relationship ang PhD streams episode 2 yes sir <laughs> may sasabihin ka para para ka nagpapaalam na uh, culminating ano <laughs> Goodbye na. Hindi naman, hindi naman. Um, di, di natin sure. <laughs> Pero bukas natin malalaman sa ating uh, mission uh-huh. doon sa malayong lugar. No? Malayong lugar. Alright, sir. Sige, let's uh, get the ball rolling. Uh, in our episode, we'll talk about health. Kasi yung letter P, passion, ang unang pinag-usapan namin sa episode 1 is about NBA playoffs. No? Nakwento ko yun sa last time. And the next is H, that is health. So now we'll talk about um, more on public health, uh, epidemiology, and, and COVID-19 in general. Alam mo sir, ako, I'm a nurse by profession. I'm not a medical doctor like you, but people uh, thought that I'm MD. Kanina nga sa email, di ba, nakalagay Dr. Harold. <laughs> Ibig sabihin ng MD ko sir, hindi medical doctor, ano, o mukhang doctor. Ayan. Mukhang? Uh, or pwede ring, ano, um, Murag Doctor, kung Bisaya ka, alam mo yung Murag? Murag Doctor? Uh, ano ba sabihin nun? Uh, parang uh, Doctor. Ako? Hindi, hindi, parang <laughs> Doctor. <laughs> so, Meron din MD, uh, may dating. May dating, uh, ay, bago yun. May discarte. Uh, Oo. Ano pa? Ano may pa? dinadala. May dinadala? <laughs> Mabigat ang dinadala. Mabigat-bigat. <laughs> sa harap. 80 kilos. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> Uh, this uh, episode, sir, will talk about uh, epidemiology muna. Could you please uh, say or describe ano ba yung epidemiology in layman's term? Yun yung gusto ko sa'yo eh. Uh, you're very expert in many things, pero you always try to simplify things. You want 
uh, people na maintindihan ng mas madali ang mga bagay-bagay. And I also agree to that principle. So, in in a layman, very layman's term or a nutshell, what is epidemiology? Could you please describe? Actually, medyo naghanda ako eh. Yan! Nakasulat sa akin kung ano yung epidemiology. Eh, joke lang ito. <laughs> <laughs> Textbook definition, epidemiology. Nakita ko ito in a picture sa Facebook. Um, uh, uh, from, from one uh, um, Facebook friend, perhaps yung father niya, tutuloy ng epidemiology. So, from the Greek um, uh, words, uh, yung epi and demos. Epi is yung um what uh befalls or epi uh, and then demos yung people so whatever befalls people um epidemiology is the uh, core discipline of public health where we try to understand what's happening with people uh and then we usually uh point out uh ang natin yung person place and type yes PPT, parang powerpoint parang powerpoint okay. So, person, place, time. Yes, yes. Pwede mo bang i-elaborate? So, ano ibig sabihin ng person, place, time? Yeah. Uh, we, we, we tend to describe kasi diseases and then we look at yung where they might have, um, ano, parang where they're getting sick and um, what point in time uh, do these diseases occur kung nakakang illnesses and we try to describe uh, what's happening to the person. Um, in, in a way, a uh, very similar or parallel to a clinical uh, approach that then to patients, except that we look at communities, we look at poor populations, after um, the country, the regions of our country, and so on. So it might be infectious or non-communicable diseases. All right, that is epidemiology, and it, it's a branch of public health, tama ba? Yun ba yung ano? definition ng epidemiology? Mm, mostly or, for public health, but we also have different kinds of epidemiology, like clinical epidemiology. Okay. We also have like uh, y- yung how it's applied to other biological sciences, uh, nutrition, and ano pa ba? Ito, yung ginagawa natin may genomic epidemiology. Yung Alright. Yung pinaaral natin, pinag-uusapin natin about yung mga variants. And we also need to um, have that kind of information when we plan and decide on what to do. Yes, thank you for uh, explaining that, Dr. Choi. So, ibig sabihin, yung title natin ngayon sa PhD streams na the one, ano to eh, uh, in-explain ko sa'yo kanina yung inspiration nito yung sa Friends na, na sitcom, no? Yung pinakasikat oh. na sitcom, pinaka most viewed uh, sitcom of all time. And uh, lagi kasing the one with ano yun eh, yung, yung, up, yung up topic about that sp- uh, specific episode. So, yung title natin ngayon is the one with the public health epidemiolo- ano uh, public health epidemiologist. Tama no? Kasi pwedeng epidemiologist ka pero hindi sa public health, sa iba, sa clinical. Yes. yes. Yeah, so you are... Ano lang eh. Ano yun? Oo. Public health epidemiologist. Parang ang haba no? Oo. Sana kung may mas maising term, uh, parang ikaw, PhD. Uh, ito, PhD. Pe. Oo. Pwe. 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 Pwede rin. Pwe. <laughs> yeah, so inisip ko kasi kanina baka redundant yung public health epidemiologist. So it's okay. No, tama? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, I often use that then pag kung narin nagpapakilala ako mm-hmm. para hindi ang tingin ng iba kasi para researcher or hindi nila academic or from the hospital. So ang work natin for public health epidemiology is to really guide um those working in public health uh on the uh, new trends uh and how we can maybe address go um uh, ano yung mga, yung mga tulong for our response or um when we try to implement more programs so that the more geared towards uh what we do uh in the uh um and also in the WHO. Yes, and uh, Dr. Troy, na dahil nandiyan ka na sa topic na public health, madami rin kasi ngay- ngayon, no, nung nagkaroon ng pandemic, dun nabuksan yung isipan ng maraming tao na ito pala yung public health. Kasi for you, exam- for, for, for example, ikaw ay isang medical doctor. And people, ang kanilang usual na uh, iniisip kapag ikaw ay doktor, nandun ka sa hospital at gumagamot ng mga individual. no Pero 
nakita nila ngayon na ito pala meron palang public health track pagdating sa mga uh, health workers. Uh, pwede mo bang explain ang difference ng public health and uh, yung sinasabi natin na usual na ginagawa ng doktor which is clinical practice? Uh, yeah. There was a time actually, um, I guess in the early 90s, I actually decided to take a presidency pero after a few months, I realized ko, I really wanted to explore more. Um, but, but I can, and then, um, siguro through some friends, mga mentors ko rin, advising me to um, give public health a try, I realized ko na it's so much more. You really need to put your feet on the ground, uh, punta ka sa malalayo lugar. It, it's not waiting for patients to come to you. It's for us really to learn from yeah. them where they are, where they, where they are living. Ano ang um, mga challenges buhay nila, uh, anong pakipagsapto na rin nila sa mundo. I, I think yun yun eh. Kaya, I, I think for want of a better term, public health ang ginagamit natin as a catch-all term for us to really go out of our mindset na clinical and see where we are really needed. So, ang priorities natin talaga should be set straight. In, indeed, siya kasi based on um, just transferring yung, yung certain kind of knowledge and expertise or skills for the clinical. Um, much of what I've learned through the years, uh, experiential share and I really have to listen to people. N- not other experts, you know, but really other people in what um, they're going through. Yeah. Um, ano yung mga challenges na sa buhay nila, uh, so to speak. Yeah, thank you. Uh, kumbaga, sa clinical practice, ang ginagawa natin, yung client natin is ano eh, yung, yung individual, tama ba? Pero pag public yes. health, it's the population. It's a community. Yes. Yeah. The community. Yeah, naalala ko lang nung nag-aaral pa ako ng nursing sa sa Paris. Sa Paris ako nag-aaral ng nursing, alam mo ba? Oh, talaga? Yeah. Sa Paris. Uh, sa Paris Stern University. Mm, layo. <laughs> And uh, nung ako ay nag-aaral, talagang na-enjoy ko yung community health nursing na subject. Kasi parang nagko-community diagnosis. And talagang siguro napansin mo din, no? uh, I'm a very social person. Laging kapag may tao, parang hindi ka mapakali na hindi ka usapin. Eh. So parang yun yung naging, ano, eh, naging start na parang ah, mukhang okay tong track na ito. And then eventually, nung time kasi ng 2012, just to share a bit, no, yun yung time na sobrang daming nurses at yung mga gumagraduate, it's either ang bagsak mo ay mag-call center ka o pumunta ka sa hospital, magbabayad ka para makapagkaroon ka ng uh, work experience Vo- as volunteer, ha? ikaw pa ang magbabayad. Para after you gain two years of experience, pwede ka nang lumipad sa ibang bansa. So, uh, dumating yung time na ganun, sabi ko, anong gagawin ko? Magko-call center ba ako? No, no offense to call center. Uh, I love uh, the BPO industry. I have a lot of friends. Pero, Parang sabi ko, sayang yung aking ano, yung aking pinag-aralan kung ako ay uh, ma-deviate. But then an offer from my teacher na research ang kanyang focus. Uh, na alam niya kasi ano ako noon eh, medyo ma- mas mahilig magsulat, ganyan tas editor in chief ng paper namin na ah, try niya dito, merong opening sa DOH. So, try try lang, uh, awa ng Diyos nakuha naman at doon nagsimula. Yung pag-deviate ko from uh, clinical practice as a nurse and then nag, nag-public health na ako, dire-diretsyo na. So, yun lang yung short sharing ko din sa inyo, Dr. Troy. Maganda yun. Dagdag ko lang like uh, ano, uh, some experience still on my part. Uh, gusto ko yung sinabi eh, yung point where we deviated. Uh, I guess when we reflect on what happened to us sa buhay natin, uh, ako, I remember, nagtatak sa isip ko na Alam ko na kung may kukwento ko ito ng ano ah, sakto. Uh-huh. Um, may time, I was supposed to get a good job, um, good salary, uh, maganda opisina, um, but it was working towards uh, a little sa public health. Pero ang ginusto ko, nung eventually, uh, nagkwento ko akong hina. Gusto ko talaga yung lumalabas, naglalakad ka, marami ka nakakausap, nakakilala, uh, natutunto ko sa tao. May nag-alok sa akin ng dalawang piraso manggas na bataan, sa morong bataan, nalala ko yun. Okay. Then, para sa akin, naisip ko, bakit naman, uh, ano, uh, gano'n pa ako ng komplikado? So, ito na nga, parang isang, ano sa akin yun eh, parang um, epiphany. May bigla akong na-realize na kailangan ko siguro talagang seryosohin na 
I, I have to like um, the place where I was uh, at that time, and then really, uh, parang I have to take the rough road, not the easy road. Yung iba kasi uh, iniisip nila madali kasi ng um, makarol ng trabaho, palipat-lipat, ng karol ng karanalan, ng karol ng yeah. um, estado sa buhay. Pero hindi talaga ng isip ko. I have to unlearn um, what I went through do sa med school, maybe sa college. Then I just have to learn more uh, outside. Uh, in, uh, yeah. um, I guess I don't regret cooking that now. Uh, ganun yun ang yari sa akin. Wow. Thank you. Yeah. Na, na, ang, ang sarap mag no? Pero uh, it's a challenge kasi sometimes... You, you get to compare yourself dun sa mga contemporaries mo, yung ibang mga fellow medical doctors mo, ako naman, fellow uh, registered nurses, nandun na, nasa ibang bansa, do, doing the practice, and, yun alam mo yun, getting a lot of uh, kaching-kaching, di ba? Pero, uh, sometimes, you just go back to your core, eh, na parang, bakit ka ba nagsimula at in the first place sa track na ito, napilitan ka lang ba, wala ka na bang ibang choice, or is it really your calling to be here in this uh, in this field. What can you say about that, sir? Yes. Um, I, I guess everyone knows si Dr. Juan Pabir, the former secretary and former senator. He passed away a few years ago. Eh. But I know that everyone wanted to become like him, like uh, Dr. Herb Arzen. Ah, uh, yeah. We actually have a program, diba? Uh, that was uh, set up during his time as secretary in the early 90s. Uh, unfortunately, I was the batch ahead before they started this program. Okay. So I had to learn it the long way. I had to find my uh, route in life. Kung, um, paano yung ng career. It wasn't hard. Uh, at first, I thought, na parang, oh, sige, ano, uh, apply lang ng trabaho. Mm. It was hard, it was really making it more meaningful. Um, program so that shortened my med schooling by two years but honestly uh, it took me around eight years before I learned what I wanted to do oh. na, ito nga yung epidemiology uh, and, and that got start that that got me started but it doesn't, it doesn't it doesn't end there because eh? yeah. continuously you try to add to your skills your competencies and sometimes I do things na parang at first parang me a lot of aversion but uh-huh. I, I try to be patient and try to really um praise guru that sana maintindihan ko um what what where this is leading me to and yun um somehow you see as i want that if we get to compare ourselves with others yes talo eh oh uh-huh. all that's all that's <laughs> eagles eagles herb alam mo eagles herb eagles herb lugit pre lugit pre <laughs> Yo. Yeah, and, and we have to really, you know, um, follow uh, many of the starting calling that, um, I forgot uh, how we call it, eh, yung, yung parang kasabihan na follow your own ano, uh, path or um, may, may, may rin tayong certain call uh, everyone ha, of us has to lead you. But it's it's very personal, it's, it's very internal. And that, that's why I, I, I try to keep myself private. Pero kundi dahil sa'yo, hindi di na lalaman ng mga tao. Yan. Yun na. Sa PhD streams, nakita nila ang ano glimpse ng life story ni, ni Dr. Troy. Ano to eh. Nakareserva to sa MMK tsaka sa ano eh. Magpakailan man eh. Oh. <laughs> Pero Dr. Troy, na, 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 uh, nag-strike sa akin yung sinabi mo na 8 years. It took you 8 years para malaman mo talaga kung ano yung gusto mong gawin. No? So, 8 years din na ano yun, ligawan sa iba't ibang chika babes. <laughs> <laughs> Oo. Oh, um, uh, ano, honestly, chope ako eh. Chope. Ano, Anong chope? Uh, forma, forma. Uh, but siguro may, may ano lang, si, uh, si Wilke na bless naman no? Yeah. Yung mga nakilala tayo. Unfortunately, uh, it really, um, sometimes it's as an abdang uh, taking some kind of paths and roads. Minsan hindi na tayo makakasama. Hindi yeah. Hindi na makakasabi ko nun. Pero, oh, sana, ano, i- uh, ibang daan para hindi na ako kaburin ng itak. Oh, <laughs> 
Pero, Pero doc, 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 Dr. Troy, ano ah, nung una kitang nakita, kasi nung una tayo nagkita, nakamask lagi na eh, no? So, parang, sabi ko ba, ano, uh, silver hair, tapos parang mukhang ano to, uh, lakas ng dating, may dating, no? MD na MD. And, ang pakilala nga sa inyo is, senior epidemiologist, grabe naman yung word na senior, no? Talagang may senior. <laughs> Hindi pa senior yan. Pero, uh, nung, nakit, nung, tapos, nung nagtanggal kayo ng mask, Nagulat ako. Sabi ko, ano pala to? Foggy. Foggy. <laughs> Nagbobola na tayo. Pero totoo naman. Sabi ko ba, foggy. Tapos ano, na- nag-lip gloss yata to ah. Kissable lips. Ah. Mm, lagong kinakagat eh. Para uh, okay ako sa meeting. <laughs> so, and then sir, uh, bago tayo uh, lumipat sa ating next topic talaga na, na COVID-19, uh, we have something in common actually. no Ang pangalan ng wife ko, naalala ko to eh, vivid pa sa memory ko na sinabi mo na yung, yung pangalan ng daughter mo, yung eldest mo, is Bianca. Kaya gusto mo yung name na Bianca, no? And name naman ng wife ko is, is Bianca. And, yung name ng wife mo is Bea, right? Oo. Oh, yes. si, si Doc, Bea is doctor, no? Medical doctor. Si, si Doc Bea, yes, uh, yes. yun yung Yula Valdez ng buhay mo, ya? Ang, so, ang, ang, ang tawag dito, uh, ang Miss Universe ng buhay mo. Oh. Wala nang iba. Kumukhang kumukha niya si Yula. Wala nang iba, oh, okay. Dr. Troy, no? Uh, ano sa'yo? Chubby, chubby. Chubby? Chubby? Hindi, nakakatawa. <laughs> Pagkalimutan na natin yun. Ang nakakatawa, si, si Bianca naman, she's always being, ano, um, namimistaken siyang tinatawag siya lagi sa, ng mga kasama niya sa work na Bea. No? Kapag nakakalimutan ano si nila Bea yung uh, oh, yung oh. name ni Bianca, ang tawag sa kanya Bea. So, nakakatawa lang. Parang two names na very significant sa ating dalawa. That is something we have in common aside sa good looks, no? Oo. <laughs> Yan. Okay. Dr. Troy, this time naman, I will ask you about COVID-19. No, we're still in the midst of a pandemic. Ano na bang status natin ngayon pagdating sa COVID-19 na ito? Ano ba ang masasabi mo bilang public health epidemiologist? Nasaan na tayo ngayong estado ng, ng, ng pandemyang ito? Uh, Pagkatagal pa sa gurado ko na it will take um, maybe the whole of the year hanggang next year kasi um, we're still trying to figure out itong problem natin sa variants. If, if you try to compare kung ano-ano yung mga variants natin, may iba-iba na yung pangalan eh. May dati UK, uh, South Africa, Brazilian, um, Indian. Now we're using this uh, new uh, nomenclature, yung Alpha, Beta. Mm-hmm. Um, ito, itong Indian, yung, Be- yung Delta. It's parang very transmissible. Very transmissible. Uh, if I remember yung public health ano ko, um, concepts, Ang mga viruses kasi, bacteria, dalawang paraan lang yan eh. Either manghina sila, uh, pero kakapit sila sa tao ng mabilis, or mas magiging mabigsik siya, mabigsik in, in a way, parang ibola, uh, nakamamatay siya. It mm-hmm. turns out, ang gusto ni um, COVID, gaya ng mga uh, influenza, other diseases, mas maging transmissible siya. And itong nangyayari sa Delta, very, very efficient yung transmission niya. So, it will take a longer time and it's all up to us really to find a way to figure a way para maka-respond tayo, maka-manage, ma-handle natin itong problem natin. Eh. It's not just medical, clinical, public health. Eh. It's really you know, testing yung resilience natin, mm-hmm. uh, not just for our country, but go over the world. How we can try to go to a certain kind of normality yeah. Uh, pagpasok sa school, uh, online, uh, pagtrabaho, um, trying to avoid uh, too many people congregating with each other. Uh, yeah. Ngayon, ang pinag-uusapan yung sa vaccines, hopefully that we can really push um, yung uh, update ng vaccine so that more and more people will get their protection. Uh, there's a risk though, uh, ang galing kasi ni COVID at uh, maraming variants. Uh-oh. We'll try to see whether these vaccines will still be effective in the near future and uh, later on. Uh, this year. 
Grabe no, ang tagal na ng COVID last year akala natin it would only last for a year. Tapos na, nauso yung term na protracted response. Protracted meaning uh, longer than expected no. And still, uh, akala natin nung last December huhupa na siya kasi dumating na yung mga vaccines tsaka bumababa na yung transmission. Pero ito, may bago na namang sumulpot na nag nagmutate ang ang virus yung coronavirus 2 na ito at uh, nagkaroon nga ng madaming variants so given our vaccination run ngayon Dr. Troy sa tingin mo it would still last for another year yeah uh, as of now uh, i just saw the statistics kanina parang nasa over 10 million tayo ngayon eh yeah plus uh, how many months to get here and um up to now we're pretty tayo uh, you know, address the vaccine hesitancy, so it will probably take us um, twice as much to get to 20 30 percent. Medyo elusive pa yung 50 to 70 percent na gusto natin herd immunity for protection for the population. So, uh, th- 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 there are there has been many things that has been said about the vaccination campaign, your COVID response, but overall, we have to deal with yung reality that that yung sabi mo yung protracted um, response and, and the disease will be here for it to stay uh, and then eventually become endemic yeah, yeah. Dr. Troy kaninang lunch na may kausap din akong uh, colleague natin epidemiologist din siya no and uh, we're talking about the term herd immunity may narinig kasi akong isang public health uh, personality din sabi niya it's not really Herd immunity, rather we call it herd containment. Kasi yung, yung vaccine natin is not really making us uh, immune from COVID-19. No? Ang press release natin is still there's a, big, a chance to be infected. But if we get infected, ano lang, hindi tayo magpro-progress into severe case. It's either asymptomatic yes. lang or mild. Is it a big deal yung term na herd immunity or herd containment? Meron bang tamang a term ba talaga dyan, or it's just one and uh, the same? Uh, yep, thanks, Hiram. Uh, yung herd immunity, it's more of the traditional concept of conferring uh, like through immunization uh, a better level of protection okay. such that we can uh, stop somehow yung chains of transmission yes. or at least bring it to a level that could be tolerable, to be manageable, to treat patients, um, to bring them to the necessary facilities. Unlike kung sumabog siya, uh, dahil sumababa yung herd immunity. Um, not just for COVID, but for other diseases. I'm not, I'm not really that familiar with herd containment, except that maybe, um, yeah, it, it might, I'm just guessing, ano, pero it, it might be uh, the limitations of um, our, our current vaccines. Um, experience me with the vaccines. Okay. We need to maybe um, put together all of what we learn with what we learn about the mga NPIs or uh, movement restrictions, uh, social distancing, all, all those have to be considered. Ang problema lang, uh, and we haven't we didn't foresee this na mangyayari more than a year uh, into the pandemic yung fatigue. Yeah. Uh, there's so much fatigue um, in terms of uh, psychological, emotional uh, needs. We need to really support each other mentally. And alam ko, maraming maintakulo ngayon at maraming na sigurong bakot na bumot na. Yes, yes. And, and lagi nagihirap tayo doon sa socio-economic part. Siyempre, maraming nang bumawa ng trabaho. Kailangan maunuan natin talaga kung ano ang katayuan nila and uh, talagang maibigyan natin lahat ng um, pagiging ano, maunuan this is a question. So, uh, I guess um, the terms matter, but the terms also help guide us to become um, more uh, sensitive yeah. to uh, what, what you're supposed to do. Yeah. All right. Dr. Troy, kanina then one last question about ano naman, no, vaccines. Naman. Sabi, uh, we're having this uh, vaccination run no, that would last probably two more years to reach yung 70% na target natin of the adult population. Sabi nung kausap ko, hindi uh, ko na pangangalanan, no, pero matangkad siya, uh, maputi. Uh, tapos kasama natin sa ano sa contact tracing <laughs> dati. 
<laughs> Sabi niya, eventually, we need to uh, get exposed pa din if we are fully vaccinated. So that, ano daw eh, yung, yung kanyang idea doon is yung mga response ng katawan natin since we have developed the antibodies na, no? So, we still need to be really exposed. Not intentionally na you go to a COVID ward, no? Tanggalin mo yung mask mo at maghanap ka ng malalanghap na virus. But yung alam mo yun, yung exposure, eventually in some places nga, sabi niya, they are no longer masking up because they are fully vaccinated. So, in case they get infected, they will recover uh, faster than usual. And parang uh, ito na din daw talaga yung magiging new normal eh. Uh, what do you think about that? Or do you uh, think that we are really masking up for the longest time pa sa mga uh, foreseeable future sa tingin mo? Uh, eventually, siguro, papunta tayo sa equilibrium uh, on um, those getting infected, those getting the ano, protection, immunity, and hopefully we'll, we'll, we'll really, really try to minimize the uh, diseases, critical illness, and deaths. Okay. Um, in theory, and in concept, it, it sounds logical, no, that eventually um, there's a need, a further need, para magi exposed. And um, who knows? Pero ako, I will spin it in such a way that we really have to wait for more evidence, yeah, more research, more information and findings. Uh, up to now, a lot of these things that we're doing is like parang widow. Uh, ina ano lang natin, uh, tinatan siya, tinatan natin. We do. Pero mahirap pa, pag kung nga nasa media ka, para sabihin mo sa uh, madlang people na, siya na po kayo, marami po tayong pagkakamali, um, inaaral mo natin to as we go along. Um, pero ko, okay, mag-alala, tiwala ko tayo sa siyensya o sa ating mga pag-aaral. Yeah. Kinakala lang natin siguro mapaunawa sa mga tao kung ano yung dinadal natin. There are those who are good communicators, and there are those who really might need to maybe level down a bit yung kanilang mga terminology in yeah. jargon. So that kasi, people will be less scared. Mm-hmm. Kasi may malaking chance na ma-misinterpret or ma-miscommunicate yes. natin sa mga nakikinig. Thank you so much for that clarification. Pero Dr. Troy, as a, an, a public health expert, as an epidemiologist, madami kasing nagsasabi na ano eh, we can no longer go back dun sa times dati na we are gathering, may mga concert, may mga ganitong mga crowded uh, activities. Sa tingin mo, probably 5 years time, 10 years time, hindi na ba talaga tayo makakabalik doon? Are we going to alter our way of living or uh, pwede pa naman? Kasi ikaw, hindi lang COVID ang response na na-experience mo, no? even SARS uh, way back 2000, uh, early 2000, tsaka MERSCOV, no? you were also part of the response team. Sa tingin mo ba, uh, na, na, nakaalpas tayo doon sa SARS at sa MERS-CoV, but it's not as big as COVID-19. Pero itong COVID-19, in the next 5 to 10 years, sa tingin mo ba, makakabalik tayo doon sa usually na nakagawian nating normal? Yeah. Uh, siguro, I have a couple of ideas about that. Una, uh, this is the first time dito sa COVID-19 na pumunta agad tayo doon sa high stage or not in sustained transmission uh, mm-hmm. level. Di ba inaaral natin ito sa office? And um, for SARS, for bird flu, um, uh, maybe for MERS, Ebola, ano sila eh, kahit paano, hindi ganitong paggrabe na uh, pandemic level agad siya. And I guess we were all caught unaware. But to transition back to any normal or what we were before, other countries have done it there, but they have brought their um, number of cases to a very manageable level. Kaya hindi na yun nila, kasi um, they were very decisive. Tayo, um, it, it, this is just my personal opinion, but yes, yes, we have uh, difficulty, I think, in understanding how the virus behaves. Uh, I think the virus understands us more than how we understand how the virus uh, goes about um, and, and then spreading and then uh, forming chains of transmission clusters. So we, we need to double up, we really need to do more, do uh, a lot of uh, planning mm-hmm. and uh, being decisive. But I, I hope that we can go to that 
uh, East Cabin concerts and also to be able to siguro kahit paano magkita-kita talaga without the mask. Other countries have done it eh. Yeah. And they've um, tried to improve their systems for surveillance, contact tracing, referrals to hospitals. Na ano, na seamless. But um, the Philippines is a big country, archipelago tayo. We're limited in terms of resources. We're still struggling with how to improve our healthcare system. Uh, yung pang nakaroon tayo ng batas. But the batas, yung, yung law, yung Republic Act, was just something yeah. to start out with para you know, talagang gumanda ang ating healthcare system. I think it will take a generation siguro. So, yung mga anak, anak nyo ni Bianca, uh, <laughs> at yung mga anak ng anak nyo, siguro they will reap the benefits of yeah. our good work. Yes. Agree. Thank you so much. Actually, nakakatawa no si COVID ang talino niya kasi yung punto ng Pilipinas uh, before COVID, we're already getting the momentum eh, no in establishing the building blocks of the health systems. Nakaka ano na tayo eh, alagwa na tayo tapos biglang na caught off guard tayo, biglang dumating yung pandemya. Hindi pa ready yung mga ini-establish natin. Kaya yon, talagang nagano tayo, building the ship while we sale. Tama ba? Tama ba yung sinabi kong yun? Yes. Oh, ang ang nagatlan ni COVID nung nagulot, nagulot tayo yung medyo nabigla tayo na, naligwak. Naligwak. Na, ano tayo? Na, nakita niya na, uy, okay to. Habang nagkakagulot sila, mas nadami pa tayo. Okay to, mga <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. At saka malaking bagay talaga yung decisiveness na sinasabi mo, no? And that is part of the core principle of response. In speed nga na tinatawag, lagi nating pinag-uusapan yan sa contact tracing. Hindi lang sa contact tracing, kahit sa isolation ng mga suspect cases pa lamang. No? So... Dagdag ko lang ah. Sige po. Yung... Hindi ako sure dito, pero I think unsolicited itong opinion ko. By far, how we try to form ourselves into the healthcare system, mm-hmm. organization-wise, structure-wise, functionality, um, ano talaga? Uh, I I want to I uh, I want to avoid the use of the word bureaucracy. Uh-uh. But parang ane monolithic tayo magkisip na it has to be the same thing for everyone. And, and we are serious people. We are responsible people, and we need to um ano uh, provide all the means. Uh-uh. Yeah, that, that's too heavy for us yet. We, we need to engage with the local government. We need to, um, siguro, divide and conquer. Yung uh-huh. ayusin natin siguro bawat lugar sa Pilipinas. Hindi pwede yung ibig sa bagay na one size fits all. Yun, tama. Ayun, Dapat, uh, ano, parang uh, malleable tayo, no? Flexible. Yung parang yes, yes. sheet of, uh, ano ba tawag dyan? Parang yero na pwede mong tupiin kapag kinakailangan. Uh-huh. Yan. Thank you so much for that, ano, Dr. Troy, for that lens. Ganda nun. Uh, moving forward sa ating democracy dito sa Pilipinas, uh, sana after COVID, no, tuloy-tuloy na na ma-prioritize yung mga bagay na kailangang uh, na, na very important, lalo na yung health systems natin. So, uh, eto naman, bago tayo magtapos sa COVID-19 and beyond, at magpa-fast talk tayo, ha, sinabi ko sa'yo kanina. So, bawal ka na mag-back out. Huh? Boy Abunda, no? Uh, ako ang Boy Abunda okay. ng opisina natin. <laughs> Contact tracer. Uh, what is your most memorable experience so far? Wag mo isama yung ibang response efforts mo. Dito lang in the past year with the uh, with us. Last year? Uh, so in, in the last year mo, since nag-start ka sa, sa, sa organization natin, what is your most memorable experience? Not, not one ano, eh, instance, pero the, the fact na makakasama tayo, tapos um, alam ko, hirap tayo, pero pwede na lang makatawanan tayo for whatever reason. I, I think when we have that breakthrough, parang gumagawa ang yung trabaho. Hindi yeah, yeah. ko alam kung paano, hindi ko alam kung bakit, pero nangyayari yun. Sabi, kinikilig naman ako doon. At yeah, isa sa mga, uh, yan. Pero syempre, isa sa mga ano doon, mga ano tawag dyan, catalyst ng mga para magkaroon ng ganong mga bagay is syempre ang ang nag-iisang superior supreme Dr. Troy Hepte. No. <laughs> Bigyan natin ng isang malakas na shoutout. Yan. 
<laughs> Sige, Dr. Troy, actually, uh, kailangan na natin mag-fast talk kasi nakita ko yung aking uh, laptop. Paubos na yung battery at nakalimutan ko yung charger. So, bukas dadaan na natin yung charger sa opisina. <laughs> Kakamadali kanina. Pero, uh, we'll end probably 10-10. Ha? Uh, sakto, late okay. naman tayo nag-start. Eh. So, ito yung aking uh, fast talk with you. Mabilis ha? Kaya siya tinawag na fast talk. Sagot ka agad. Sige, uh, sige. Anong unang pumasok sa isipan mo, yun ang sagot mo. Okay? Are you ready? Okay. Itong fast sure, talk sure. na ito, version to ni Boy Abunda kay uh, Miss Universe Pia Wurzbach. So, it's an honor. Nax. Nax. Honor to. Wurzbach in the thing. <laughs> yes, yes. So, sige. Let's do fast talk, Dr. Troy Hepte. Uh, are you ready? Ready. Let's go. PhD. PhD Streams Episode 2 Hot or Cold? Hot ba- Bags or Shoes? Shoes Metro Manila or Outside NCR? Outside NCR Wow Gusto mo na umalis talaga ng NCR <laughs> Dahil Manuna. sa lockdown na ito <laughs> Adobo Manuna. Menudo Adobo Ba? Oo o hindi? Maarte ka ba? Uh, oo. An- ano yung maarte ka ba? Uh, De, yun yung tanong. <laughs> oo o hindi? Maarte ka ba? Uh, hindi. Ay, hindi? Maarte yung hindi ko. Hindi. <laughs> oo o hindi? Madali ka bang ma 